Throughout the past four years, my art skills have advanced in ways I never could have imagined. I've been exposed to so many opportunities and project tasks which have pushed me to become the artist I am today. One of these amazing opportunities was a chance to have my illustration up on billboards around the O2 Arena during the Brit Awards 2022. This art piece was inspired by the imaginativeness of interpretive dance as well as the beauty that sunrises bring to a new day. To me, the painting signified the start of a brand new year, with hopes that it will be filled with even greater creative opportunities and joyful moments. I adore both digital painting and traditional painting. For one out of three of my GCSEs, I had chosen art and design, and within those two years, I had produced some of the best paintings I've ever done. And after leaving secondary school and coming to the Brit School, I've been able to refine my digital painting skills producing posters and illustrations I can proudly be confident in. Such as these illustrations I made for a US company on African American black heroes that were being celebrated for Black History Month 2022. I didn't just wake up one day and find that I could draw and paint. It took a lot of practice and determination to get better, and that wasn't easy at all. For almost a year, I focused my attention on learning anatomy, as well as learning perspective, just the drawing, and observational drawing. In my family, I'm the only artist and person interested in a creative career. This has limited the amount of help and resources I can have at home, but has enhanced my ability to be independent and find my own resources. Although I love creating illustrations, my true passion is in animation and storytelling. I have always adored animated stories and found myself desperately wanting to understand how they were created. For my final major project, I made a short animation based on the topic of stress featuring an original character named Satoshi. He is a Japanese adult man who is overworked and underpaid as an animator in Japan. With the extreme stress his job brings, we see the symptoms of stress him and his co-workers exhibit as their health descends into chaos. My aim was to show how stress can affect someone's life and the different areas of which that stress may come from. My ultimate goal is to have my own animated series or movie with a loving fan base who will cherish my original characters like I do. I realise my dreams are big for a young black female artist starting out on her journey and so I am hardcore focused on involving myself to become one of the professionals. My name's Elizabeth Dada and thank you for listening. <laughs>